The festivities, Judy Backrack, contributing editor at Vanity Fair magazine. Judy, welcome to you. We were noticing all the snow in Washington. Uh, it's really coming down. I hope that doesn't put a crimp in anybody's plans. Look at that gorgeous shot of the White House. Well, I, I have a feeling that maybe it should put a crimp, or at least something should put a crimp in the plans of the White House to have such a very lavish inaugural uh, at a time of war. Really? Um, in, huh. Yes. Okay. What, what I've noticed is the worse a war is going, the more lavish the inaugural festivities. When Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president during a time of war, of course, as you know, he had a very modest inauguration and a very tiny party uh, where he served chicken salad or where, where chicken salad was served. And that was when we were winning a war. Right. But Judy, when it seems like yeah. Sorry. Well, no, I look, I mean, the president has has addressed this, hasn't he? He said that this is a I believe the quote was that we're, we're celebrating. We're celebrating democracy. We're celebrating a peaceful transfer of democracy. What, what's wrong with doing that? Um, have you noticed any peace or any transfer of democracy in Iraq? If you have, you're the first person to have seen it. And well, I'd like I've to noticed the that. elections coming up, and, and Judy, to be honest with you, I didn't really they want to argue very politics peaceful. with you this morning. I was, you know, just wanting Oh, really? To... I, I thought I was allowed to talk about what I wanted to talk about. Well, you, you, cer you certainly have that right. Uh, let, me right. Ask, let me ask you this. What, I mean, what, what should they have cut back on? I mean, we've, we've how had about lavish $40 million. Dollars? All right, well, what, we what have, you, how would you plan it? May I say something? Sure. May I say something? We have soldiers who are incapable of protecting themselves in their Humvees in Iraq. They have to use bits of scrap metal in order to make their Humvees secure. Their Humvees are sitting ducks for bombs. And we have a president who's using $40 million to have a party. Judy, what That's would you suggest for the inauguration? How would you do it? How about a modest party, just like FDR? I'm sure you'll agree he was a pretty good president with a fine sense of what's appropriate and what's not. And during a time of war, ten parties are not appropriate when your own soldiers are sitting ducks in very very bad vehicles. Well don't you think that the president has has given his proper respect to our troops? I mean yesterday as far as I can tell the, the festivities opened with a military secure. gala uh, they ended with a, with a prayer service. There does seem to have it's certainly been a tremendous effort over the past couple of days and more than that to honor our troops. Well, gee, that prayer service should sure keep them safe and warm in their flimsy vehicles in Iraq. I'd rather see that money going to them rather than to a guy who already is president for the All second right. time. Well, Judy Backrack, I think we've given you more than your time to give us your point of view well, this morning. Well, thanks for having me on. All right.